What's up y'all? I'm Matt Swigum and welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. Man, this is just going to be such an epic video. Um, fish of a lifetime for me. Such a great experience. And I want to share that with y'all. I mean, this I'm just so glad I got it all on video and had a buddy there to help me out and take some pictures and do some filming and man. It was an incredible experience. I'm super lucky, super humbled by this experience. Tons of people have reached out to uh, congratulate me and everything. And man, it was truly a fish of a lifetime. And I just love targeting big speckled trout and speckled trout fishing in general has um, really grown to be a big passion of mine. And man, I just want to share that with y'all. So um, if you haven't already, Please consider subscribing, smash that like button down below, and I hope you all enjoy this. Let's get into it. All right, I just want to give you all kind of a lay of the land for the day here. It was a pretty slow day in general. Um, throwing artificial lures for speckled trout. So I decided to start trolling some lures behind the boat. Just little jig heads with uh, grub tails on them. You can see here I'm picking up some small schoolie trout. Um, looking for a school to start casting on. I ended up picking two up in this area. Um, nothing big at all. I think they're all under 17. Uh, but that's a good indicator that there's fish in the area. So. I decided to pick up the big slick lure and start casting that around. Um, it was a really hot day actually. Um, this is February 25th of 2023 and it was almost 80 degrees. So I was having some troubles with the GoPro overheating. Um, so I was trying to just cut it on as soon as I got hook sets. So casted out that big slick lure in an area that I really like and stuck a nice one. and. Here that is. Big trout. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's a red fish. If it's a trout. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my gosh! Let's go, baby! Woo! 
Let's go! Oh my gosh. 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 Let's go! Oh. Oh. All right. Oh my gosh. 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 That's a 30 inch trout. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm sh shaking. Absolutely shaking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, I got a 30. She's on the bogas right now. Bro, where are you? I'm in in front of the uh Is that you that yelled? Yeah, you hear me? I heard something. I'm you, you want a picture? Yeah, bro. Okay. She's nine pounds. I'm sitting over here waiting for my damn bait to come over here. Bro, on the slick, on the big slick. Yeah, I didn't even drop any bait yet. Something took my damn croaker off. It's a nine inch croaker. You gotta get over here. I gotta take pictures and stuff. Bro. What'd you do? What is it? 30. It's 30? It's 30. Let's go. She's nine fucking pounds. And I just put that fucking slick on that I showed y'all. Scooped it right up. Let's see it. Let's go. Dude, 30. That thing's massive. Nine pounds on the boga. In the lagoon? Yeah, baby. So probably just a little over eight, or are those bogus dialed in? They're pretty dialed in. I'll check them when I get home. But uh, she's at least eight and a half, dude. That's huge. Bro, I thought I had a redfish the whole time. Could not get it up to see it. In the lagoon? Yeah. Who's fucking 
go. I knew. I had a feeling when you FaceTimed me. I was like, this has got to be a big fish right now. Bro, 30. Let's f***ing go. <sighs> I'm just f***ing shaking. I can barely hold hold the phone. You got to, uh, you got to take some pictures, man. Or put her on your wall. You got to decide right now. Yeah, I really want to let her go. My buddy Cameron's coming over right now. I see him. Yeah, he's coming over to uh, take a picture. Time to go home? Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, I don't want to put her on the wall. As long as I got good, as long as I got good pictures, I'm fine. You gonna put it on the wall? No. She's kicking, so I'd rather see her swim off. All right, good for you. All right, brother. I'll call you later. All right. She's so big. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Oh, there she is. Real. It's the real deal. What? It's the real deal right here. I told you about this, but my 29 came from right there. Yeah. Jason's 30 came from over there. There's a 29 came from over there. There was a place for big ones. This is it. Tagged. Legs are killing me. I think she's ready. Oh yeah. Tag 30. She's right under your bow. Skinny one. No, that's a fatty dude. Bro. There he is. I just released her. I don't have great service. Caught the 30. I just released it. I put a tag in her though. Yeah. She was, uh, huh? 30 on the dot? Yeah. Just like a hair pie over. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. On that lure I just showed you a picture of. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> she was like probably nine pounds, maybe at, at least eight and a half. You but. Put her on the bogus? Yeah, I put her on the uh, my little bogos, which are more accurate. <sighs> I'm still shaking. Shit was fucking legit, bro. Just peeling drag, like thumped it so fucking hard. I was like, oh, that's a redfish. But sure enough, giant. Oh, it's so fat, bro. You can't even see the catch board. Good. Yeah, I'm like... Wide. She was real wide. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Got it on Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully that video is going to be a hit. I imagine I'd imagine it won't be. And you know what's funny is I just caught like a bunch of croaker um, and pinfish and shit because we were going to drop some live baits. And I was about to go meet up with him and do it, but I made a couple more casts because I saw some fish marked. And then there she was. Didn't even have to drop a fucking croaker. Uh, it was on a shelf that goes from uh, about a foot and a half to five feet. 
Is there any bait blowing up or anything? There's mullet and like maybe a little uh, menhaden or something popping around. But nothing like crazy. Way to go. You get this fish. <laughs> Very good job. Very nice. My name is Borat. I'll send y'all some pics. I think we got some real good ones. Custom slick yeah, in the mouth. And she'll live in the system now. She, uh, she's uh, she got a tag in her back. So that's sweet. Did you swim away good? Yeah, it was kind of just, we're in like two feet of water right here. So she was just like chilling on bottom, swimming forward, not moving super fast, but she was kicking okay. and it was kicking hard to get off the bogas uh, before I released it. So I think she was just kind of chilling. Okay. Well, that's a great time to release her because in another month or two, she's going to spawn. Yeah. So congratulations. Well, well thanks y'all. need to submit that to uh, get your dirty, dirty plaque or whatever. Oh, that'll go down. Don't worry about that. You better call Captain <laughs> Dick and yank his chain, too. Yeah, Roger. I don't know if he's even caught a 30. Whew. My year is set. I'm good. You've been, been grinding for that fish for a while, bro. You've been putting in some time on the trout. Way to get him. Thanks, bro. Much appreciated. We will come to Little Lagoon. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Yes. You need to come pick mine up. Yep. Put it on order, please. All right, will do. I know where they live. <laughs> All right, boys. All right, y'all. Have a I'll good one. Pictures. Yeah, will do. Whoo! Huh. Damn, y'all, that was some kind of epicness right there. Whew, I hope all that got on camera. Man, that was sick. So some cool things about landing big trophy trout, um, specifically 27 inches and above, is there's a program called The Speckled Truth. And it's ran by Chris Bush and, and his colleagues and stuff. And what they do is just focus on um, big speckled trout fishing and conservation in general of the species. So this one right here is the state citation sticker that you would get. And this is for landing a 27 inch to like a 29.999 inch speckled trout. And then if you land a 30 inch or better, you get one of these dirty 30 stickers. And then you also get um, a plaque from the Speckled Truth, but they're out of them right now, so I wasn't able to get mine before the video. Um, but I'll definitely be posting pictures of that stuff on Instagram and Facebook, so go ahead and follow me on there. So something else that's super cool about this video is, as you saw in the title, it is a catch and create. So an artist named Patrick Tucker, who is Alabama burning, um, gave me this, which is a big speckled trout that he did, and he does wood burning. So all of this is wood burned and painted and epoxy coated by him. Super cool stuff. It is really well done, and I love it. It's just a great way to commemorate that catch. And thanks to him, I'm able to do that. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Well done. Y'all go check out Alabama Burning. I'll have all of this stuff linked down below in the description. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Patrick with Alabama Burning. We're going to do a catch and create because recently Salty Swigs hit me up with a 30 inch speckled trout he caught and he wanted to get it recreated. So, this is what we're doing. I got the speckled trout laid out on the table, getting ready to burn at 30 inches. Let's make it happen. There you go.
well y'all so for me that was fish of a lifetime um i've been searching for a big trout like that for a little over two years now i've been big trout fishing um just epic video won't do it justice on how big they are i mean i could probably stick my fist in that thing's mouth it is absolutely insane it's a different just a different fish altogether um so that was a 30 just a hair pie over um gosh i'll, I'll try to put a picture up there right now and um that was just that was incredible and um my pb before that was 25 inches so that puppy blew it out of the water y'all if you like that video then go ahead and smash the like button down below please consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff um i love speckled trout fishing this is one of my favorite things to do in shore and um that's what a lot of my channel revolves around so if you like that kind of stuff please consider subscribing and y'all until next time y'all stay salty